see it, but there's a bit of a gap behind that. And then we've got another weather system coming in, bringing more rain through the night into the west for tomorrow morning. If you go in a bit closer, you can see the gaps, the main clouds swelling away through into the North Sea. Brighter breaks into western regions now, into the south. And I think for many uh, places it will be a fine evening and genuinely dry. Still quite a few showers though showing up on the radar, particularly into the north and the east. But those are going to continue to feed away through into the North Sea as the evening wears on. Going away with the low pressure, and then we have a ridge of high pressure building across the country. So it means for most of the night and for most of the British Isles, dry, settled weather, clear, misty skies in some places and those sort of temperatures. But at the same time, the next system coming in on the other side of that ridge, the weather front pushing in, bringing rain across Northern Ireland and through into some western localities by dawn tomorrow. That's where it is by the middle part of the day, driven along fairly quickly about these, uh, by these strong winds. Once again, the low pressure pushing system through fairly rapidly. It does mean, however, I think a dry, bright start for most of eastern Scotland, central and eastern parts of England, and down through into the south. The rain in the west, moving its way gradually as we go through into the middle part of the day. Probably not getting over to the most northern eastern side, though, until the late afternoon and into the evening time. I think the heaviest rainfall in the north and the west, and then later on we're going to find brighter weather following through to Northern Ireland, into Western Scotland, into Western Fringes through the afternoon, and many places probably ending up dry and bright, but still one or two showers peppering into some areas. A pretty breezy day tomorrow, as you can see, but uh, temperatures not too bad, 18 to 19. probably feel a little bit cool in that stronger wind. Quite cool in the northwest there. Parts of Scotland may not see much better than about 14 or 15 degrees. Now, as we go ahead into uh, Friday, we've still got this deep area of low pressure, putting some pretty strong winds across the country, driving this weather system away. We may see this feature affecting the southern Channel coast for a while during Friday, but I think it could mean some heavy rain at first over parts of Scotland, turning rather more shy, but perhaps some thunder showers in the afternoon. Elsewhere, bright spells, sunny skies, but one or two showers packing through, and in the far south, perhaps some moving.